our first DIY, we're going to be using two wrapping papers. The first I chose is a brown paper and then a red and white Dan Mass print. You can opt to choose two different prints in the same color scheme, but I just love brown paper for the holidays. All you're going to do is wrap the box in the first paper and then take the second paper and wrap it on the, either the half or the third of the box. I recommend using double sided sticky tape because then it will be nice and neat and you won't see the tape marks on the outside of the print. And you're going to want to make sure everything's nice and flat. Once you do so, just finish wrapping the box as you normally would. For the second step, we're going to take an ornament. I actually got this from the dollar store, two for a dollar. So this ornament was 50 cents and it's just a gold sparkly deer with bells around the antler and it's super, super cute. And all you're going to do is take some ribbon. I chose red ribbon to go with the color scheme. I wrapped it around the antlers and then I'm going to wrap the ribbon around the entire box. Make sure the deer is lined up as you want it. I just decided to go in the middle and along the edge of where the two papers meet. I think it just lines up very nicely that way. And just wrap it through on the deer on the other side. And then for another effect and to make the ribbon a little bit thicker, I decided to wrap the ribbon back around the box so then it doubles it up. After all you're going to need is some double sided sticky tape to take the end of the ribbon and tape it under the other ribbon so you cannot see it. This works out perfectly. As you can see, our first DIY turned out really nicely and your friends and family will love it. On to the second DIY. We're going to be using the oven, so preheat the oven to 275 degrees. We're going to be working with red and white polymer clay. It's important that you get polymer and not modeling, as this stuff can go in the oven and bake. All you're going to do is break off a chunk and begin working with it, warming it up between your hands. This is probably the toughest part of this tutorial because it's kind of hard to work with at first until it warms up. Once it warms up, all you're going to be doing is rolling it back and forth between your hands like a snake-like motion, much like we did in elementary school or grade school. And you're going to be doing the same thing with the red clay. I recommend working with the red clay second because it does get red on your hands and you don't want to mix that to the white. It does come off once you wash your hands, but just a heads up. So just keep rolling that back and forth between your hands until you get the snake. And you want to make sure that it's even throughout. Once you get both strands, we're going to start twisting them together. It's going to start looking like a candy cane and that's exactly what you want. It's going to keep with our color scheme, match the wrapping paper, and it's going to look so cute and Christmassy. Now the third step. This is where we're going to be molding our clay into either the shape that we want or the word that we want. I opted to go with Noel. You can go with any shape like a star, a snowflake, a heart, or you could go with a Christmas saying, joy, peace, happiness. Noel works perfect as it's only four letters. Also a tip, you can use your printer or computer and print out the type and then just follow along with that but I just decided to freehand it since it's only four letters long. Once you're happy with it, it's time to put it in the oven. For baking times, you're going to want to refer to the instructions of your particular clay because it can vary. Once the clay is done baking, it's time to add it to the package. I decided to go with brown paper for the outside of the box, and I'm using green ribbon to tie the ornament to the box. It just complements each other very nicely. All I did was wrap around the ribbon on each side of the ornament, Noel, and then I'm just going to cut it and tape it to the back side of the box where nobody's going to see. And I'm just using some tape, taping the end to the box, flipping it over and doing the same to the other side. And you want to make sure Noel or whatever shape you chose is positioned in the middle because it's just going to look neat that way. 
simple is the key for this particular DIY. And tape that on. I used two pieces of tape just to be safe. And then, just to make sure since the clay is a bit heavy, I took some double-sided tape and just stuck it under the clay to um, adhere it to the box. This really did help a lot, so I recommend doing this little tip. To finish it off, I just went with a snowflake name tag and just wrapped it around the Noel. This was a really cute accessory and really added to the package. And the second DIY is complete and cute as ever. Final DIY, we're going to be using wax paper and or tissue paper, whichever you prefer. You can also cut in squares whichever size you would like. I got the supplies at the dollar store which has prices you really cannot beat so I recommend checking out your local dollar store, dollar tree, whatever. All you're going to be doing is folding it back and forth in a fan style. Once the fan is complete, all we're going to be taking is a little bit of ribbon and tying it in the middle of the fan. This is just going to help secure the paper and going to be the base for the flower. Once you have it tied off, you're going to take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut the tips. You can go with round tips, pointy tips, square tips, whichever kind that you like. I just went with the basic round tip for this flower. Once that's done, now time for the real fun. You're going to be pulling layer by layer the flower up. So you're going to pull it towards the middle and you're just going to be fluffing it until it's really nice and pretty and looking good. As you continue pulling the layers apart, you're going to start ending up with a flower bow looking like this. I love the effect that the red and the white has. It gives it a little bit more depth. And it's just really Christmassy, and that's the goal, right? So, there you can see a flower bow. Now, to decorate the brown paper, you just take some white ink and the back of a pencil, the eraser part, and just start dotting the white ink all over the package. This gives a really cute polka dot, or should I say snowflake effect. And you're just going to want to continue until the whole package is dotted up. Now that you have finished dotting the package, it's time to attach the flower bow to the box. All I'm using is double sided sticky tape and I used green ribbon to wrap around the box. I'm going to cut the end and then tape it underneath the flower as I did with the start. Doing the same thing, I'm taking another strand of green ribbon. Once you finish, fluff the flower to your liking, fix the strings as necessary, and then for a final touch, I'm going to use a snowflake name tag and attach it underneath the bow. The final DIY is finished, and now you have three great ideas to use this Christmas for friends and family. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a merry, merry Christmas. Okay, let's keep it that other way so you can see it. Why? Because it's better. Here's the questions. We had fun making this video, so I hope you all enjoy. Okay, let's start, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I should say sister. Sister, yeah. Hey guys, so today we're going to be filming the... Sister, sister tag. tag! Don't leave me hanging. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay,